To me, the, the, this year wasn't about cars so much as about other ways things move around, right? Be it buses or taxis or other stuff. I forget who it was when we were talking before. I get who was saying that Vegas, like, was it, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, not that there were no cars, but so many of the most interesting vehicles we saw weren't cars. There, uh, Hyundai had this first responder concept that kind of had these tall grasshopper legs and was meant to go places that cars can't go. Bell had these vertical airlift taxis that Uber hopes to put in the sky uh, four years from now. Unfortunately, there were no demos of that, which I think <laughs> might have been a little disappointing for the people on the ground. Um, Daimler had this semi-truck for cargo that has some degree of autonomous features, which could hopefully make the roads a little safer. But yeah, some of the most interest interesting things we saw were not actually um, passenger vehicles. Plus all the electrification we're talking about on the phone of, of everything, of scooters, mm -hmm. bikes, suitcases. Um, yeah, at least three suitcases that you ride through the airport. <laughs> so then you get off, the handle retracts, you check it, off you go. Yeah, I'd push back on that just a, a little bit because one of the things that impressed me about the CES, we've always had cars. The North Hall is always filled with cars. We always have to send a reporter in there who <laughs> inevitably lives in Manhattan and doesn't own a car. <laughs> and he has to pretend to be interested in cars so that we can do our car coverage. And, um, but you know, this year was the first year that there wasn't just one uh, self-driving car demo. There were like 10 of them. And I did a, a Lyft self-driving car demo a year ago. It was their first public uh, demo. It was point to point. The drive was very boring. I wrote it up. I was like, I really wish I had more to say. It lasted like 15 minutes. I took the exact same ride this time. And since then, Lyft has given 25,000 rides in Las Vegas to average consumers, consumers that are just opening up the Lyft app and calling the self-driving car, having it come. Ironically, you get two drivers instead of none. Um, you get a safety driver, and then you get an engineer to supervise in the front seat of the car. But you can fit three people in the back. And they take you point to point, and um, they can't drive on private property. But then at the end, you get to rate the experience. And um, the chief strategy officer for Lyft said that the, I dug it out of him. I was like, the ratings for the self-driving car are higher than the human drivers. And this is a technology that still has a long way to go. They don't, haven't mastered the drop-off. The drop-off is one of the big gatekeepers here. I want a big, I mean, because dropping off at a building can mean many different things. Um, and if you're, before you put your kids in that car, you're gonna wanna know what door they're being dropped off at. Um, but like, just there, there were so many, and there's so many problems that have been solved there. There's a lot more to go, but it was, I thought it was really exciting. So when people talk about the show being, you know, not enough innovation, not enough cool stuff, I'm like, that we are living in the future right here, and it's on the streets of Las Vegas. We are. The, the latest Tesla software update, now if you're on the you know, adaptive cruise control on the highway, which a lot of cars have, that is, your car speeds and slows down with, with traffic. Now, if you said, I want to go 65, and the idiot in front of you is doing 55, your car, unattended by you, will put on its signal and pass him. Um, and Elon says that um, within six months they'll have a thing where the, the, the self-parking is also amazing in, this, in the Teslas. But he says in six months they'll have a thing where the car will drive around the block or the parking lot looking for a parking spot. If it finds one, it will read the sign to see what the restrictions are and will self-park only if it's okay. Mm -hmm. wow. You are alive to see the day. <laughs> yeah.